wouldn't touch it if I were you. Make it worse. Oh, butterfingers. What are we going to do with you? I told you to keep that covered up anyway. I don't want to have to explain to your dad what you did when he comes back. Do you? Anyway, he thinks you're clumsy enough as it is. He's already worried about you. Almost didn't go away because of your little stomach bug. But you're all better now, though, aren't you? Oh, what did you do? Scratch myself, missing a belt. Oh, kids. <laughs> Meet up, Ben. It'll get cold. Remember what we said, Ben? What, you're not going to fall for bed? No. We've all got their own swimming pools, too. So where's Ben? His uh, stomach ain't getting back. Oh, yeah. He made a miraculous recovery as soon as you left. Right. I think it was just after a bit of attention, you know, what with you going away and everything. Oh, was he now? Oh, it was fine. He just wanted someone to fuss over him. That's exactly what I did. We ended up having a lovely time. Oh, Peggy, I was just telling Phil how well Ben and I got on yesterday. Did she tell you about his fallout with Abby? No, I haven't. Wouldn't say, but didn't walk to school with her this morning. Maybe she'd ask Tanya about it. Oh, I wouldn't bother. You know what kids are like. It'll have probably blown over by now. <laughs> what have you been up to then? Anything exciting? Come to in geography. Oh, nice one. No Abby today? No. She gets on my nerves sometimes. You won't go away again, will you, Dad? Oh, haven't you had a good time? Hmm? With your grand and Stella? Yeah, but it's not the same. I'm just popping out. Anyone fancy chocolate cake? <laughs> she won't be long. What? Oh, do you buy orgasmic meat and veg? Because, you know, I, I imagine Phil would be quite concerned about what's in Ben's food. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Could we... You couldn't put the kettle on, could you? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, of course. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. I'd just go around and say sorry about yesterday. Uh, no, look, if anyone should be apologising, it's me. I just... I don't know what got into Abby. Can we just forget it ever happened? Forget what? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, thanks, Phil. Um, how's Ben? Yeah, he's OK. Look, like I said to Stella, I'm so sorry about yesterday. You know, I had no right to go off at her like that. Well, was that being Ben that fell out? Well, yeah, it was, but then, you see, I went and made everything worse by throwing stupid accusations around and... What sort of accusations? Didn't Stella tell you? Do you mind if we go inside? No. Ben is going to love me! Stacey, Stacey. I don't understand why you didn't tell me all this earlier. Oh, to be honest, Phil, I was embarrassed. I mean, it was such a silly row and... And I shouldn't have lost my temper with Abby. Ben! I think me and him need to uh, have a bit of a chat, so... Why don't you go downstairs? I won't be long. <laughs> now, you know... You know I like Stout. I like her a lot, and I've, well, I've liked having her back in my life, but... Well, you come first. There's nothing more important than you, yeah? So if I was wrong to let her look after you yesterday... Well, I mean, if... If you didn't get on as well with her as she said you did... Then I want you to tell me, yeah? Fine, thanks, Peggy. I actually, could I have a large glass of white wine? Oh, 
Na volt. You're talking a long time. Yeah, well, Ben had a lot to tell me. Well, whatever he said. He said that you two have been getting on great. How he's loved having you around. He reckons Abby's always throwing things up and that she's just jealous because he's spending less time with her. Ah, that's what I thought. Poor little girl, if you're sorry for her, really. Well, she probably ate what I'm about to suggest, but why don't you move back in? <laughs> Stella? Mm hmm? I didn't tell Dad about yesterday. Well, what could you possibly have had to tell him? Nothing. You're a very lucky boy, Ben. You're surrounded by people who love you. Some children don't have that luxury. They might have parents who are, who are selfish and cruel. Or who don't even know that they're there. You needn't worry about that. We're going to get on just famously when I move back in, aren't we? Not like the last time I was here. I'm sorry how I was then. I was scared. Why? I thought you was going to take my dad away from me. Oh, Ben. What a ridiculous idea. I hardly knew your dad then. Whereas now... Well, he loves you. But I think he loves me a bit too. I'd have a much better chance of stealing him away from you now. <laughs> Don't look on your face. You're gonna have to learn how to take a joke. I was only kidding. Here, why don't you put this one on? And I'll go and make you a nice hot drink. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs>